We just joined a table at Mahjong time. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. We have six band pair, seven, nine band pair, one, two, five, seven, nine in cracks, three, six in dots, and a red dragon. We could play either three, six, nine, or five through nine. So let's pass the dragon, the one, and the two. Now this is risky. Let's see. Let's break it up and let this seven bam go. So three, six, nine looks pretty good to me. We could leverage both pairs. And American Mahjong is a game of multiples. You want to target multiples. That's going to, that basically is playing with the end in mind. Since you need multiples in your hand, you might as well start there and let them drive the hand. So let's see how it goes. We don't need evens if we're doing three, six, nine. We have a pair of twos in here. Pair of twos. If you develop a new multiple, just reassess. In this case, it doesn't really fit with the predominant pattern. So let's pass two, seven. We actually have a hand in here. Three, six, six, nine, first hand under three, six, nine. I wouldn't pick a hand yet, though. I would continue to gather until we run out of discards. So we have a lot of three, six, nine. We still have tiles we can pass. We have four discards outside the category. So we have a little wiggle room before we have to pick a hand. You want to put that off as long as possible because that just gives you the greatest flexibility. Okay, no keepers. And I would say, yes, we should continue. We have discards. Four discards. It's a little bit risky because we have a one, two in one suit and a seven, eight in another suit. But you want to focus on hand development for your own hand as the top priority and do the best you can with whatever you have left over. So in this case, we could do one, eight. And then because we have a hand with no gaps, I would maybe let the three crack go because that would create a pretty good pass right there. A nine crack would be just as risky as letting the seven, eight go together. So let's let the three go. And then we'll probably let this nine crack go. Oh my gosh, look, we got a keeper and like numbers. Thankfully for our opponent, we're not going to use those fours. So we have three, six, nine. I would still keep that since it's in the category. And let's pass two, four, seven. We still have a, a hand with no gaps, which is good. Our three, six and dots is pretty weak. One thing we could consider is a switch to six, seven, eight, nine, but we have a gap, no eight. So that would be a long shot. Instead, I would rather let it go and not pass all evens. So you just want to mitigate the risk in each pass, one pass at a time. We got like numbers with twos. That does make me cringe a little. I'm just saying. Passing like numbers is almost as risky as passing a pair, in my opinion. Okay, so yes, we can do three. So let's do eight, one with a two. One of each suit. And it will... We got the three crack back. <laughs> I would keep it. We have three, three clear care. discards and three, six, nine. So I'd Eight say characters. we probably are an underdog because we have three or let's see, five discards here. Ooh, 
here's a pair we don't need at the moment. We might be able to use that for a joker tactic called Bamboo. joker bait. This is where you keep an unneeded pair, a useless pair. In this case, we're in three, six, nine, and we don't need a pair of two dots. But instead Eight of discarding dots. them now, wait until the middle of the game. Eight bamboos. This will give everybody a chance to gather tiles, and maybe when we discard one, West they'll wind. make an exposure with a joker, and then on our next turn, we can do the exchange and get a joker. That's the idea. It is hit or miss, so don't bank on it. It's not a guarantee. So Five let's see if we can get the, this pair all the way to 60 tiles remaining. That's the midpoint in the game. So we have three discards and joker bait. I'd say one character. I'd say we could consider ourselves to be a contender. Let's let the eight crack go. And eight that just characters. means that we can take a moderate risk approach to the game. Green Dragon. Right now, we can't claim a discard for anything because we've got a Kong and we need a Kong of nine dams. We're not quite ready Pung. there. We need to Pung the three, six, and dots, and we don't have enough Two tiles characters. for those. So we just need to gather. We can just relax and gather. Four dots. Okay, now that dragon is going to be risky the longer we hold it so i would let it go now especially because somebody has a pung of dragons out pung. see there it is you don't want to hold on to One those dragons dragon. there are a couple of hands with multiple dragons Eight well characters. actually several hands oh joker that's a keeper okay now Seven we could pung or kong and i would do either one whatever goes down now if a nine dam is discarded, dragon. okay, so they didn't take the red dragon. West wind. That means that they are probably playing a like number hand with dragons, second hand down under like numbers. So as far as we're concerned, let's see now, four dot was just discarded. We can let that go. Four dots. With a nine dam, if it goes down, Two we could calm. If the three or six go down, we could wait on that because we just need to pung. And the first discard, okay, here's the nine bam. So let's go ahead and Kong. Kong. We have a hand with no gaps, so we can commit. And this particular Green hand, is, I call a hand of least resistance. And that just means that you can use any number of Four jokers. Characters. So the hand is relatively indestructible. Five dots. So now we're looking for three, six, and dots. And we're playing the waiting game again. Or the gather game, I guess Two you could characters. say. Okay, now here's a pair we don't need. Neither one of these are out. With the year tile, I think I would let it go first. Two dots. Year tiles are a little more risky than the others because of the big year Five hand, characters. the last singles and pair hand, 75 point hand. Four characters. I, I try not to hold on to year tiles for too long. White dragon. So we could, oh, there's our tile. We got one. Two dots. So now we can pung the three. And we're at 68 tiles remaining. So we have a, a useless dots. pair. So in two more picks, we're going to discard one of these nines. East wind. Now this player across from us, they're the only player with exposure. So we can try to figure out which number they could be holding if they're playing. Eight I'm pretty sure they're playing like numbers. Let's see. We really don't need that nine dot. We have, we're committed with this first nine hand. Dots. Okay. So now let's see if we can figure out which number they're holding. Nine characters. So in front of them, Okay, there's our joker bait. So let's see if anyone takes it. No, so it's not good. So that would be a miss. One bamboo. So that was a miss. There are discards now. Okay, so now back to figuring out what number they're holding. South wind. Let's wait for this pick. Okay, four dot is out. We're at 60 tiles, 61 tiles. We're in the very Four middle dots. of the game, so we don't have to think about the end game just yet. 
I like to hold safer discards for the end game. Seven bamboos. Okay, so now in front of this player, they have ones. One character. Ones, eights, fives, one, eight, five, four. One, eight, five, four. Three bamboos. Not much of a, of a hesitation on the three. So four my bamboos. guess is that they're holding sixes. That Five would be the bamboos. only one, sixes. But if they're holding sixes, they're going to be in a world of hurt because we have a Kong. dragon. So let's see. Could they be holding threes? There's only one. Let's see here. There's a three, three crack bamboos. out and two threes. Let's let that three go. They're not hesitating on the threes, though. You know what they could be playing? Second hand West down wind. under wins. And if that's the case, they're also in a world of hurt one because there are two red dragons out. I don't think they're playing like numbers just because of what's been Eight discarded. Bamboos. One, two, oh, nine. Let's see. One, nine two, dots. three, four, five. Could they be playing like numbers with fives? I don't East think so. Because there's a five dot in front of them. There's a five One crack dot. out. They didn't take the, they could be playing like numbers with fives. Because you only need a pair of fives Four with that bamboos. dragon. And a five dots. crack, they would need to calm. There are two out, so maybe not. Four dots. It's going to be interesting to figure out what they're doing there. Three characters. How many sevens are they're not doing sevens? Let's see, two sevens. Five bamboos. Actually, there's only oh, that's a keeper. Okay. Nine so now characters. we're set. We have only one discard. I would play to win. They could be doing sevens because there's only flower. I don't see any seven cracks or seven dots. There's two seven bams out. They could already have that Eight those dots. pairs. I'll bet they're doing sevens. So you just do a process of One elimination character. to try to figure out what they're doing. Uh-oh. Let's let this go right now. Seven dots. We're in the end game, and there's the hesitation. They need a pair. Hmm. If they need if they're playing sevens, they're in trouble now because there's a pound of sevens. Characters. I could be totally wrong on the number. I'm thinking fives or sevens. Okay, now we're in the end game. The six crack, none are out. Six characters. Hesitation. Kong. A Kong. Okay, different player. So now we have a few One other. Dot. We have two other exposures out. We can try to figure out what they're focused on. North wind. This will be interesting. I would play to win. We have one discard. Five bamboos. Seven bam is out. Seven bamboos. South wind. I don't think anybody's East playing wind. three, six, nine because of our own hand. The player to our right, I bet they're doing five characters. consecutive run or evens. They have a lot of odds in front of them. The two four, the two four here, I two think dots. came from our hand. They could be doing evens or consecutive run. Three bamboos. We're looking for a three dot. The player on our left. Eight bamboos. They have a lot of uh, big odds and evens. Let's see, seven. Nine bamboos. I'm thinking they just got her a joker. Two dots. Let's see, seven dot. Oh, this should this is safe. There's already a seven dot out right here in this pung. Seven dots. So with a pung of sevens and all the sevens that are out. One dot. Let's see here. Sometimes you can figure out what Two they're playing characters. just by the discards. Five dots. They threw an eight, eight, nine, eights are out. Eight dots. Seven dot pair. They could be doing three dots. I don't think they're doing big odds. Okay, let's pung. Pung. Now we'll discard this nine. Nine characters. And we are ready on a six dot. 
Three dots. None are out. And of course, with Nine two exposures, dots. they're gonna everyone knows what we're playing. So we may need to draw a winning tile, Five whether it be dots. a joker or a six dot. This three dot uh three bam, that was just discarded. There's three out. Three bamboos. I would still play to win, I think. North wind. Now, if we pick a tile where none are out, I would, mm, I would Two consider bamboos. folding. There's one Joker up for grabs right Six now. Characters. Oh, they just got it! Darn it! Seven bamboos. Okay, this is out. Nine dots. Seven characters. Hesitation. Big hesitation. Hmm. Four bamboos. Well, we only have, well, we get one at one more pick and then two after that Four for each of characters. us. Uh oh, flower. Hmm. Because of all the tiles out, I'm going to go ahead and discard this. This is risky. Flower. I'm just thinking people have folded because of the tiles that are out and the exposures that are out. Flower. I'm thinking people have folded. Kong. Aha. They're playing the dragon hand. And Two bamboos. And they risked those jokers. My guess is they're ready on a dragon and they probably, they probably have jokers. Why would One they expose dot. that with jokers like that if they didn't have the dragons in their hand? So Two a red dragon, I would fold if we draw a red dragon. South wind. We have one more chance to win. If we draw a flower, we could do an exchange. Joker. Aha, uh -huh. they folded. Okay, now this five crack. Three are out. I don't think anyone's going to throw a six dot, so I'm just going to discard the Joker. Joker. Seven characters. Mm. Hesitation. Okay, so they're ready on a dragon. Yes, I would have folded. All right, so now let's just go see. Here's a, here are the six dots we needed, and we needed a six dot, yeah. So we were blocking each other, and look, they have a pure hand going. They wouldn't get the six from me. And then here, ready on a red, well, they needed a joker because there were two red dragons out. Over here, news was sevens, but they couldn't get wins. So wall game, it's a draw. Anytime there's a draw, you should feel good about that. Basically, if you think about it, everybody wins because nobody has to pay. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.